Hey everyone, Ed here with Michelle. Hey everyone. And the great indoors. And today we are here in Solon, Ohio, outside of Stouffer's. Did you know that they have a, uh, what is that, like a... An, a thrift outlet store. Yeah, thrift, where you could buy things that are marked down before they get to the store or whatever. I don't know, how does it no, work? Uh, damage, like if they have damaged boxes, it's like uh, they take a percentage off. Of oh, it. yeah? Yes. It's well, a pretty cool store. Well, the plan is to come in here and maybe buy some, some things, but really we're on our way to Longhorn Steakhouse. So we're going to show you around in here really quick, and then we'll make our way over to Longhorn, and let's get out of the way before we get hit by that car. All right, like, comment, and subscribe to the great indoors as we go to Stouffer's and maybe we could get some good deals, eh Michelle? Sounds good to me, back and cheese. Awesome, baby. Okay, the hours are 9.30 to 5, Tuesday through Friday, Saturday 9 to 1, and it's closed on Sunday and Monday. Nice. Entrance, okay. Okay, all individual packets are $2.78 a piece. They have way at Lean Cuisine. Let me just give you a quick look at this, look at that. These are some pretty good deals. Chicken and sweet barbecue sauce. And then you got Lean Cuisine Protein over there, wow. And I'm hungry right now, because remember, we're on our way to Longhorn, and this is just, oh, wow. Pretty good, how are you? We're making a video for YouTube to show people, because not everyone knows that this is here. I mean, I've had several people get lost when I've told them where it's at. I'm like, how could you get lost? <laughs> it's right here. I haven't even been here in five minutes and I'm already gonna get a Swedish meatball. This is $2.78 a box. And look at that, French bread pizza. Three meat on there. Two, and these are like $3.20 a piece. And she, the woman here was saying that there's also hot pockets here too. And that's another thing, when I'm like really in a need for something quick, get a hot pocket over here. Oh, they got the breakfast ones over here. Oh yeah, that looks like a, yeah, grab that too. Okay, and the box is, this is 558 now for that one right there. All right. I already found some good deals. What about you, Michelle, are you? Oh yeah, I found what I haven't found in a long time. Lean Cuisine macaroni and cheese. Oh yeah. Hey, I haven't seen you get those in a long time. But I remember when we first started dating, you swore by those things. I used to uh, use those at Days Inn because that yeah. was my lunch. You yeah. know, you didn't have a lot of time to clean rooms. You had only five minutes, eat and go. And, yeah. and then my dad and I would come here on my day off, like on Tuesday, and yeah. get my lunches. I never knew that about you. <laughs> See, yeah. I'm learning something new. Even like you guys are learning something about us, now I'm learning something too. Another yeah. layer of Michelle, okay? Oh, uh, thank This you. is not the way to go. We Going here before we are going out to eat is not the answer because then we'll end up overbuying over there. Oh, not, they, never. they always say you never go shopping at the supermarket hungry, okay? Yeah. But hey, that's <laughs> a deal for a hot pockets. That's 38. That's right. All right, let's 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 check out and let's get the Longhorn, okay, before we buy oh, the place out. Okay. Okay. Okay, we are here at Longhorn Steakhouse with Michelle. Now, Michelle, I've been uh, seeing that they have a limited time lamb chops. Okay. And that is the main reason why we are here. Because okay. I've been seeing them at Longhorn when they're making them in the morning. Right. And they look delicious. Okay. Okay. And I think it comes with potato and um, some spinach. And I, they actually let me sample some. Mm -hmm. They're really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're really good. So... We're going to get in there and check it out. And um, yeah, I'm still hungry. We got all those frozen foods in the car, but they're it's cold out today, so they're not going to go bad sitting in the car. So, all right, yeah. Again, we are here at the Longhorn Steakhouse in Solon. It's around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It doesn't look too busy, so hopefully we can make a good video for you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe to The Great Indoors.
So the last time we were here, Nicole was our server, and we get Michelle, we get Nicole again, so that's pretty cool. Two for two. And uh, we decided to not go with the bread, because bottom line, it's not good for both of us anyway. But um, I'm letting Michelle pick out the appetizer. The, the, the appetizers are on the other side, I believe. Epic Beginnings, Wild Wild West is a thing here, seasoned steakhouse wings. Again, you know, I would probably get that if I'm if I was here by myself. But you know, we gotta think about Michelle and what she wants. So Parmesan crusted spinach. I know that she likes that. Have you already narrowed it down what you want to go with with your appetizer, Michelle? The spicy chicken bites or the spinach and dip. The spinach dip? I can I'm I'm good with the spinach dip too. So if you want to go with that. Okay. And then on the other side in the Beyond Steak section is the grilled lamb chops, $25.79, backed by popular demand. It's a fire grilled perfection on the bone with roasted tomato garlic, herb sauce, creamy mashed potatoes, and wilted spinach. So that's exactly how they explore, explained it to me um, and over there at the Metter Longhorn. So yeah, I'm, we're really, I'm really looking forward to getting that. Did you decide if you're gonna to wanna to go with the lamb chops or do you wanna go with, what is that? Strawberry cake. Oh, okay, well if you're good and eat all your food, then <laughs> then I'll let you get that, okay? I got uh, strawberries as a fruit. But did you decide to go with the lamb chops as well? I'm leaning towards that and that's okay. And, you know. Okay, all right, I'll bring you guys back. So Michelle, you know, we both like Longhorn Steakhouse. What do you usually, what is you? what would you have to say is your favorite thing here at Longhorn? Uh, the Parmesan crusted chicken. The Parmesan, and why is that? Because it has chicken and yeah. cheese in it, and it's all gooey and it's delicious. I yeah. love it. To me, my favorite is the 12 ounce ribeye mm -hmm. with a baked potato loaded and <laughs> a, a salad to go with it. Right. And that's, you know, when it comes to the steaks, the value is in the prime rib. I mean, you could probably get a more expensive steak, right? And probably, but for the money, the ribeye, the twelve ounce ribeye, to be precise, is your best value. Because they got another one, an outlaw ribeye, right? Yeah, yeah. But that's more money, a lot more money. But mm -hmm. that, but in the comments, I want you guys to put what your favorite plate is over here at Longhorn Steak. What do you guys like to get? If you do come to Longhorn, I mean, for all I know, you guys may never have been to Longhorn. But, Texas you know, Roadhouse is another option, and oh, Logan State. Oh, that reminds me. Um, you were telling me that the Texas Roadhouse in, in Willoughby. Willoughby had a, a guest the other day. Oh, last night, uh, Travis Kelsey from the Kansas City Chiefs was in the town. So, and he was in there, and no one really recognized him no, except maybe uh, one or two people. Right. That's crazy. Well, yeah. maybe because, like you said, Taylor Swift wasn't next to him. Yeah. You know. But she's on tour right now, isn't she? Yes, and yeah. she's until next year too, yeah. and, and she's got a big Hulu, or no Disney Plus. Uh, special. And I didn't, I didn't tell anyone, but uh, we actually drove past his childhood home in Cleveland Heights. What did you think of that house? That was pretty nice. Let yeah. me tell you, you know. Well, it, it's a very big, and they don't live there anymore. But the people that live there now um, actually had the flag for the Kansas City Chiefs and the Eagles. Yeah. So they're, they kind of like are playing along with, because a lot of people, you know, during the Super Bowl, were wanting to drive by there and stuff, you right. know. Well, they got so, one AFC team and one yeah. NFC team, so. But, but again, uh, yeah, that was kind of cool that Travis Kelsey was in the area. Now, wouldn't that be sweet if he came in here? And, oh, yeah. You, know, you would probably recognize him right away, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Yeah. He's a big eater like me. That's right. All right, I'll bring you guys back when the steaks show up. No, lamb chops. La there you go. Good job, Michelle. Simples and I want it. Michelle was just saying that the plates look brand new, and it is true. Um, a lot of the Longhorns got all upgraded new plates. Look, the reason why I say that is they're labeling their names on it now. Oh, yeah. Well, the big plates are, are for mm -hmm. specialty items and stuff like that. And then they have the smaller plates for the smaller How things like that. How did you like get that. onto a plate? Um, okay. Show us the, the, the dip with the spoon so that we can be, get it. I'm stirring it in. Get all that cheesy goodness and now, now you wonder yeah, why. Yeah, pull I'm it like, up and show what it looks like when, when you extend it out. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now you wonder why I like Okay, don't bounce it around. All right, there you go. Okay. 
And you be careful slowly because that is hot. And you're, I always warn you, Michelle, to go slow. It is hot, though, isn't it? Yeah, you want to scream right now, don't you? Mm -mm. I know. <laughs> I'm out at a football game. I got my inside voice. Now, there's um, a lot of spinach in there and Parmesan cheese. And look at that. Oh, wow. I, 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 my thumb is like on fire right now. I, I just lost some. <laughs> That's good stuff, Michelle. But some of it didn't make it to the uh, oh, geez, to the, the, table. To, the mm. to its destination over here. Keep going, Michelle. Come on, we're sharing mm. There you go. There's the cheese pull we're looking for. Nice. Very creamy, isn't it? This is one of our go-to things, the spinach dip over here at Longhorn Steakhouse. We are in the Solon location today. Very good. Look at that string that's just hanging there. There you go. Good job, Michelle. I gotta say, these pitas are very, they're, they're warm, but they're, you know, they're soft. And I love how they go perfectly with the spinach dip. Whoever devised this combination, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe to the Great Indoors. Oh yeah. Okay, Michelle's side is the potato. Well, you get the potato with the mashed potato with the lamb chops, but you get okay. another side to go with it. And okay. Michelle decided to go with the salad with the ranch dressing. And you know the Longhorn salad, it's got tomato, it's got the cheddar cheese over there. Croutons. Croutons. And cucumbers. And it's all covered up with the, the, the um, ranch. The ranch. But she also added the, the, some black ground pepper on there. And I went with the lobster shrimp soup here. And they garnish it with some green onions. And you can see the corn in there. And there's the lobster right there. And that looks like the shrimp over there. I don't know. There's a, some potato there. There's the shrimp. There we go. Okay, let's give this a try. Oh, wow. I better be careful with this. It looks hot. Ooh, yeah, it is hot. But I got a mouthful of lobster and shrimp on that one. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And some corn in there. Oh, wow. You got to be in the mood for seafood if you're in this, if you're going for this soup here. Because it, it's loaded with it. And it is hot. But you want that. It is cold out there today. We're very brisk. And what better weather than to have like a nice piping hot lobster shrimp uh, soup over here. It's a chowder at Longhorn Steakhouse. Very creamy. So how are you coming along with your salad over there, Michelle? It's nice and cold. It is mm. cold. I love it when the cold is supposed to be cold. And the bowl is cold too. See? Now, these, this is extremely warm, so you just got to be careful with it. But that's what you want. You want hot to be hot and cold to be cold. Right, Michelle? Absolutely. All right, I'll bring you guys back when the main event shows up. The lobster, or the lamb chops, excuse me, lobster. Mm -hmm. Lamb chops, okay. Got your L's. Today. Yeah. Love, lamb chops, and lobster. And Michelle. All right. Mm -hmm. Good job, Michelle. Okay, the main event is here. The lamb chops. And Michelle, hold on. Don't, let me pan over to you slowly. Now, the question she posed to me is, how do you eat them? And it's simple. Here, angle, turn it a little bit. It's, it's There's bone on there, but the okay. meat and the, you eat all of it, basically. The fat is edible on it all the way around. Okay. And just go ahead. 
Okay. You go, just get right into it. There you go. Just make sure you don't bite into the bone. Mmm. You don't like them. Like I'm saying, look at that. Are you sure? It's you seasoned get on the outside. And let me get a look on the inside of that for you. There you go. Nice and tender on there. It's done medium. You don't want to do anything. They recommend medium is the best way to, to prepare this. And it also comes with a, a bed of mashed potatoes. And that's garnished with some spinach. So we got more spinach in our life. Popeye would be proud. And so far, what do you think? Is it a, something that you would, would get again, or? Yes, yes, I would. You're yeah. not overly over. I'm over the moon with it. Let me, let me, I'm gonna go right into it right now. I mean, look at that thing. Wow. And that meat right there. That's where we're gonna bite. Mm. <laughs> It's fall off the bone. Look at that piece. It is so tender. The way it's seasoned, outstanding experience here at Longhorn. Limited time only, the lamb chops. They're gonna be gone before you know it. So you may wanna get out here and check them out. And a nice shout out to Amanda. She's all excited because they brought back the corn on the cob with garlic, Parmesan. So. Make sure you get that if you come out too. It's going to be all summer, so we're going to have the corn on the cob. Now, I don't know how long this is going to be, but like I said, don't take any chances. Get out to Longhorn, your local area at Longhorn. Wow. You can take me to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, you know, you worry about something like that not being able to be chewed, but it's actually easy to chew. Whoever grilled that did a really good job now let's see how the potatoes are I'm gonna try a little mix with the potato and the, the spinach all right mm. try that Michelle mix the, the spinach with the potato and I bet you you're gonna love it already beat you to it. You did. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it. It didn't happen because I don't have it on camera. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to just... There we go. I love how they had that nice little shine to it and everything. I got everything. Okay. Go ahead. My mom would be proud of me because she was always one to push spinach on me. But I never started eating spinach until I started getting Michelle in my life. So... Mm -hmm. It's your fault, Michelle. What do you think? I love your guns. Oh yeah. Everything okay? Oh, really good. Whoever made these did a great job because it was it was like fall off the bone. It literally did fall off the bone when I started eating it. it, it, it easy to chew. Okay. Very, you got I gotta get some. You, you gotta get some. Nicole, you're you're awesome. Thank you. So and I'm glad that we have you as our server. You gotta give credit also to the the sauce that they have over here. I believe um, some of it, the base of it is A1 steak sauce, but they mix other um, like seasonings in there. You could see there's like a, some pepper in there, different things like that. Oh, this is what really make it puts it over the top. And what, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like lamb, but uh, you add that nice seasoning to it and it, it takes it from good it's awesome, baby. <laughs> it is awesome. I'm happy. Michelle, are you all right? You seem a little down today. Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Okay. Just check it on you because usually you're bubbly and bouncing around and everything. And it just seems like you're a little bit sad. No. No? I'm not sad. No. Okay. All right. You ready, Michelle? I'm ready. Wow. Let me just hurt. I can't get an angle. Oh She's got an angle on that. Looks like there's some ice cream over there. Whipped cream with that caramel dressing. Ooh. Let Michelle be the guinea pig first here. Okay, thank you. Hmm. Is that ice cream that's on the base of it? Or is it like a white cake type thing? 
Cream cheese. Cream cheese. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's all mine. I'm sorry. <laughs> Eat your steak sauce. Okay. Mm. I want to, you, you won't That's all whipped cream right there. Yeah. Looks like they got a little crazy with the whipped cream on the side. Oh, Nicole knows me. All right, there you go. Oh. Whipped cream. Oh, yeah. Water, my dear. Sure, why not? Yeah. Mm. You're okay on the coffee, you want oh, more? I'm good. Thank you. And this is really good too. I know. Man. Now you wonder why. Mm. Well, that's the, the like the yeah. It's like a cheesecake with a whipped cream on there and caramel dressing on top of that. And you didn't want to get this, did you? This is really good. Mm. But your number is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. That'll put a smile on her face. If you're sad, that's what you do. You go get something like that, and then there you go. She's back to normal, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's not ice cream. It's sprinkles. There you go, Michelle. Good job, lamb. Lambkin. <laughs> <laughs> the secret's out. Okay. Right there. Ooh. You gotta get that whipped cream into that, Michelle. Look at that. That that's like a bonus right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's in her glory now. So Michelle, what did you think of your experience here at Longhorn Steakhouse with the lamb chops? Mm -hmm. It was very good. You know, Nicole is an outstanding server for this establishment for Longhorn, you know. Did you like your lamb chops? If you had to give it a, a number between 1 and 10, 10 being the best, what would you say? Now be honest, if you don't like it, you know, that's okay. I'll yeah. give it a 7. A 7? Mm -hmm. And I would probably go with a 9 because I just love lamb. And maybe lamb, as what was it about it that keeps your number from being higher? Higher, um, just a, a different kind of taste in my mouth and everything. You're just but, not used to that. Right, you know. I guess you got to be ready for it, you know. Uh, I remember getting it as a kid when I was at St. Mary Magdalene. They wanted us to try lamb because of, uh, for during Passover, they wanted to... Us to, they wanted to show us what Hebrew people eat mm -hmm. for Passover. We, you know, we like ham for Easter, and they like lamb. And okay. Michelle, maybe uh, lamb is just not for you, but I, I liked it a lot. And what did you think of your um, your dessert? And oh, like that, that was very filling and delicious. Yeah, yeah. we, we um, she couldn't finish her lamb, so. I'll probably end up eating that since she doesn't like it that much. That's a bonus right there for me. Yeah. <laughs> Midnight snack. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for joining us. Longhorn Steakhouse here in Solon, Ohio. You know, I give it a 9. She gives it a 7. I think our average is an 8. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.